Welcome to the video edition of Arts and Times, the Tri-County Arts Calendar. Each quarter, we highlight regional artists who work and exhibit in our area, as well as some of our must-see cultural and natural attractions. Snow Hill artist Deborah Rolick paints deeply expressive paintings in her own unique style. A graduate of the Maryland Institute College of Art in Baltimore, and the daughter of a well-known regional artist, her early life laid the foundation for a richly creative life. My father is an artist, um, a painter, and um, I just always grew up with art around me. Um, he founded an art school called Maryland College of Art and Design. Um, actually, it started out Maryland School of Art and Design and then formed into a two-year college, which has now been absorbed into Montgomery College. Um, but I was always around painting and models. Deborah says the themes in her work are constantly evolving. Often her subjects come to her in meditation and dreams. She likes to let the canvas speak what is in her heart. I feel like my paintings have changed over the years. I originally started out, um, probably the best description would be abstract expressionist. Uh, I had a lot more action in my um, brush strokes, a um, little more frenzied uh, look to it. Uh, inspired by Willem de Kooning and some of those um, artists. I have an unusual process uh, and um, I will set up my canvas and it's usually a white canvas and uh, people would probably, if they watched me, would think I was crazy because a lot of times I'll run my hands over the canvas um, just to sort of ask it to, you know, reveal something to me. I guess what I like about being a process-oriented painter is that um, I like the sense of history on the canvas. I like the layering of paint and scraping it away and revealing a little bit to the observer. Some of my paintings have little dials on it and it's interesting to see if people will actually, you know, reach out and touch the painting and spin the dial and, you know, become a part of it. So that's something new that I've been playing with a little. There are certain um, sort of iconic images that I go go to a lot um, that are meaningful to me. There's certain phrases that are meaningful to me, uh, and I use that in my painting sometimes in a, a very repetitive kind of a uh, mode. Deborah met her husband, artist William Rolig, in the late 70s while painting murals and working as an artist in residence. Well, living uh, with another artist is great. Uh, my husband is my best critic. He, uh, he knows uh, when to walk in and tell me to stop painting. He knows uh, when to encourage me to keep going with a painting. So I really, I really uh, look forward to him looking at my work. My sister, Diane Gray, and my friend Sharon Firestein and I have come together to do uh, creative art workshops um, called Shadi La. Our projects are um, sort of um, geared towards self-investigation, and a lot of women take these workshops. Um, and it, it is about discovering yourself and through art. Projects include jewelry making, collage, and journaling. Deborah says that she has learned as an artist you must follow your heart and persevere. Being an artist here on the Eastern Shore has been a great experience. I, when I first came here, I didn't think that my work would be uh, accepted or embraced, and come to find out, it has. Um, it's. Um, it's been a great journey and the arts community has been incredibly supportive uh, which really surprised me because there's a lot of landscape artists here and traditional artists and uh, they've really been nothing but encouraging and accepting and uh, it's, it's a wonderful arts community. Very, very grateful for all my artist friends. Deborah Rolig's work can be seen locally at the Water's Edge Gallery in Berlin Philip Morton Gallery in Rehoboth Beach, and at Bishop Stock Fine Art in Snow Hill, where she will have a show in May of 2012. Thank you for watching this edition of Arts and Times. 
This Moonshell production was funded by the Worcester County Department of Tourism. Eat, Drink, Buy Art on Maryland's Eastern Shore. Visit eatdrinkbyart.com to find out about nine towns where great food goes with great art, all produced locally. You'll have a terrific time and take home a work of art you will always treasure.